two mirrors meet at right angles a ray of light is incident on one at an angle of 30 degree as shown in figure draw the reflected ray from the second mirror there are two mirrors they are mutually perpendicular this angle is 90 degree and this angle is 30 degree this angle is 30 degree here the angle of incidence is 30 degree then what will be the angle of reflection it will be 30 degree according to first law of reflection angle of reflection will be 30 degree this angle is also 30 degree this angle is 90 degree because these two mirrors are arranged perpendicularly right and it is a normal if it is a normal this total angle will be 90 degree and this reflecting angle is 30 degree this angle is 90 degree then what about this angle here it is 30 total angle is 90 degree this angle is 30 degree then this angle will be yes it will be 60 degree 90 30 60 equal to 90 total angle is 90 degree this angle 30 degree and this angle will be 60 degree it is a triangle right the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree 90 plus 60 equal to 150 and the remaining angle will be here it will be 30 degree when the light is striking on this mirror there will be reflection we are drawing a normal here and what will be the angle between this normal and this incident ray here it is reflected ray but here it is incident ray what will be this angle it is 30 total angle is 90 degree then it will be it will be 60 degree what about this angle then angle of incidence should be equal to angle of reflection then that angle is 60 degree so we can conclude that if the angle of incidence is 30 degree on the first mirror from the second mirror it will reflect with an angle of 60 degree Bujo stands at A just on the side of a plane mirror as shown in figure can he see himself in the mirror also can he see the images of objects situated at P Q R first we are going to mark the image of A it is the position of image of A and if he is standing here he cannot see this image because the mirror is too short he cannot see himself in the mirror because the mirror is too short but if we are placing an object here at p bujo can see that if we are placing an object at q bujo can see that right he can see the images of object placed at p and q but what about r r is the image is forming here he cannot see the image of object placed at r find out the position of the image of an object situated at a in the plane mirror can paheli at b see this image can bujo at c see this image when paheli moves b to c where does the image a move image of a move first we are going to mark the image of a here for that we need to consider two incident rays we are going to consider two incident rays number 1 and 2 it will reflect right it is, these are the reflected ray it is obeying laws of reflection and we are extending these two rays we will get position of a now it is a position of a image it is a position of image of a can paheli at b paheli is standing here and bujo is standing here can paheli at b see this image yes she can see this image can bujos at c see this image he can also see this image when paheli moves b to c she is moving from b to c where does the image a move the object is not moving so image is not going to move no image won't move 